on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Excuse me? Yes, I want to know if you would like your quirk back. I I gave it to you because you were quirkless, yes, but this, I don't want to, I can't really understand it, but this is different from one for all. Feels different, I can't really understand it, but yes. Are you sure about this? Yes. Listen, I bestowed my quirk upon you because I saw you as worthy. Not just because you were quirkless. I saw that you deserved it. Really? So you're okay with me still having it? Of course. As, yeah, that's pretty much how that conversation goes. Izuku is still kind of like, are you sure you don't want your quirk back? I mean, wait. How do you keep the quirk? Or do you keep the quirk? Huh? I'm just saying, you, that since you passed the quirk on to me, you were cor corkless, correct? Y yes. So, wait, what happens if you... What happens later on? Uh, uh, um, you lose the quirk for good, don't you? Um, <clears throat> you, were you going to tell me this at all? Or were you just going to have it be like, uh, last minute type thing like, yes, I'm slowly losing my quirk. After passing it on to you, kind of deal. Is that what you want to do? Um, you were. You were going to do this last minute nonsense. So the whole time limit thing. Yeah, that's true. But it goes low. Wait, does it lessen? But the less one for all you have, or are you trying to conserve as much as you can, but keep wasting it. Where you do hero work? Um, that is beyond reckless. What if there was a boss level villain, like in a video game, that you had to face off with, and you had to use up everything you had for one final blow in hopes that it worked? Leaving the person alive, but still capable of plotting and scheming and whatnot. Uh, I actually, I actually didn't think that far ahead. It seems as though, yes, you haven't. Do you know how problematic that could be? Especially given your personality. What does that mean? The way you just lunge in the battle like nobody's business. The way you will just throw yourself into danger without a second hesitation. That is the true... Uh, it does show your character as a hero, but it also means that you become a liability as soon as you lose this quirk. Yes, you can still try to save people, but this means that you will be the one needing saving afterwards. Or die... Try, which again is an admirable quality, but still, if you die, pretty much all hell is going to break loose. If you, if people learn of your form like this, the fact that you lost your quirk before, you, before mind you, you announce your retirement. Do you realize what this means? This means, yes, 
heroes will have to work even harder to take care of the villains that you, you know, left behind. Knowing that you don't have power. So if anything, it seems like you need to let people know that you are retiring way ahead of what you previously thought. What? I suggest that you start your retirement as soon as possible before something very problematic shows up. Problematic being a villain that can make you have no choice but to expose your weakened self, to expose that you are losing or don't have your power. Unless I can find some way to restore one for all within you, there is no... There, I mean, there is no way you're going to be able to really... Because, <sighs> all seriousness, if you do retire, there's nothing... As long as you still have your license and permission to continue your hero work, you can still apprehend villains. Especially, if anything, they'll probably give up as soon as they see that you're there. But if they know that you don't have your power, if you get exposed and have to use up all one for all that you have... That means they have no need to fear you. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Right? Huh. Wow. That's, that's a good point. That's a, that's a very good. Huh. I, I didn't. I did not consider that. No, you did not. You don't seem to realize just how much weight your words, your presence, carries. You as a person have been dying, just immortalized technically as the symbol of peace. Retiring, yeah, yeah, yeah. That just pretty much gives everyone else to get a chance to get their foot through the door and whatnot. But the sheer fact that people might learn that you can't, I do mean this, can't fight evil villains anymore, that is when things are going to get a shit ton worse. Uh, uh, you're, you're right. I know I'm right. So, what do you suggest? You save as much overall as you possibly can. Or else, like I said, she's going to hit the fan. And I don't want to be there on the other side of it. Or even around it. You know what? Yes, I'll keep your quirk. But I am going to need to find a way to make it so you can either hang on to at least some of your power, if not all of it. That scar, that's, he already found a way to deal with that. But when it comes to War for All, yeah, that's my main priority. We need to find a way for you to still be a hero, even without... Uh, I wish I knew about this sooner. Izuku just walking off. All my... Huh. Ain't that a... Ain't that a bitch. I can't believe this. I got told off by my successor. He said some good shit. He, he, I ain't gonna lie. He, he said some real... Some real shit. I... I I did not even consider that. Yeah, with the legacy, I'm... Huh. Yeah, so I'm going to think about how I really utilize this quirk of mine. 
is, yeah, this is about the time when the whole, let's see, it should be the USJ attack. In which, yes, Izuku is uh, notably frustrated at All Might, but this time All Might's at least here. When it came to people being in trouble, he actually called other heroes to have them get more experience, get more PR and exposure, while he just watches and observes and critiques their actions. So it's being more like a supervisor, or depending on how terrible you did, backseat driver. So he being less heroic, but he's helping seemingly nudging the next generation of heroes further. Yes. Yes, that's, that's about right. As then, when it comes to the whole <laughs> USJ attack, All Might is there. He has to use one for all. He has to use up his time limit. He's there. Since he's not using one for all, he's just buffed up. Yeah, he can easily take out all the villains. Which just does cause the Nobu to actually be released sooner. When Izuku does start punching the Nobu and all that, he does notice, wait, this thing is, the Warner's thing is here. It is meant to kill him. It is made specifically for him. He had warning on Mike. As how he still got his ass whipped. No joke. As in, when it comes to the Nobu, it is getting double teamed by... All Might and Izuku. Izuku is building up more and more of one for all. Shigaraki is trying to stop Izuku so he, he can pretty much kill off All Might and this whole thing would be done. It does not work because Izuku does not feel his body decaying from Shigaraki's quirk to the point where Shigaraki is like, do, do you feel anything? Is my quirk even working? Till when he gets a closer look, he sees that it's decays. But then it regenerates back. Almost as soon as Izuku is getting decayed. So he has no choice but to go for all my Izuku noticing this and pimp slapping McShigaraki. While Kodiri is still under the explosive hand of Kaski and the stoned hand of Kirishima. And as you can just imagine, yeah, that is not a. Uh, that's not a good combination. So, Nomu is defeated. Aizawa still got his ass beaten. To the point where he is sent straight to the infirmary. Uh, is he going to be alright? Yes. As Izuku, he seems oddly more worried about... Aizawa for some reason. He doesn't know why. As he walks up to a girl asking, can I see him? Sure, I suppose. Why? I, I'm worried about him. Hmm, such a sweet boy. Her just leaving him there while he tends to watch over Aizawa. When it comes to that, he feels saddened that one, one of the heroes has fallen. But he knows that I could have been stronger. But just then he notices something starts to leak from Aizawa. This light green mist that starts to pour out of him. He doesn't understand it. As then Aizawa slowly starts to grow pale. His eyes, though they are red from when he uses his quirk, what is weird is he's not using it. At all, they're not glowing or anything. His hair is not standing. If anything, Izuku he starts to feel more weak the closer he is to Aizawa. Him getting freaked out as he just backs away slowly. Aizawa, 
rising from, as if a zombie from a grave. M game reference. The students, the no move. Wait, uh, Asui. What, everything's fine. What happened to you? I love game flashbacks. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I don't know. This. What's going on here? Uh, as in, I, I don't understand what happened to me. I, uh, I don't know. Your, your guess is as good as mine. As Izuku, he feels this presence and comes to Aizawa now. And on instinct, as soon as Aizawa just towers over him because uh, he's got a little growth spurt. Jiku just bows and gets on one knee. What are you doing? I, I, I don't know. Lift your head up. I do it war <laughs> as yes they both get sent to the middle of nowhere. What the hell? And then they just realize, okay, we're not in Kansas anymore. It's, huh. uh, what's going on here? I don't know. Wait, why'd you call me war? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it just, it, uh, I felt like calling you that. You know, I, you know how much I hate when people bow to me. No, I don't. It's, wait. But there is someone who does hate that some, from, to an extent. <sighs> what, what is it? What's this? Um. Oh no. Wait. Death? What's that supposed to mean? Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Something's not right here. As in, a bunch of demons just start raining down and surrounding each of them. So. If it isn't the Kinslayer and his brother? Wait, Kinslayer? Who, who's. What do you mean by Kinslayer? I mean, they're talking to you, Mr. Aizawa. You cannot fool us, Death. We know you and your brother war are here to do the council's bidding. Thing is, we've done nothing wrong. So you have no reason to be here. Uh, uh, Mr. Aizawa, what, what do we do? You don't seem to be like feelings, but something is definitely off here. Uh, fine. We'll leave. But just remember, we'll be watching. Demon's looking around. Just, you leave. Who says you get to leave? As in, they pull out their swords. Izuku's like, okay, that didn't work. Now what? Though he still has his scarf as well as some more bandages. He's like, we have no choice but to fight. Is Izuku still having a more brawler esque fighting style? He does take out several villains, but when it comes to Aizawa, for some reason, he wants to fight differently. 
from what he usually does. When it comes to him using a scarf, it is more... It's like his body is fighting against it, almost. Like, this is not how I use my weapon. This isn't my, what I use at all. This is wrong to me. His body is not liking it. He snaps it. Snaps out of it until the point where Isuku gets ran through with a sword protecting him. And this is pretty much. What did you do to my brother? As then a whole huge cloud of green mist starts to form around them. As the demon's souls is leaving their bodies. And going straight to Izuku, infusing with his, healing him. Izuku, who's like, what just happened? As he pulls out the sword and just tosses it. And this is when 20 more demons show up. As as our summons another cloud of green mist. This time, it's not attacking the demons. What it's doing is summons two dual scythes and a mask. Izuku is like, what? Follow my lead. What? <laughs> As yes, Izuku watches until ultimately joining in the fight. Aizawa slashing carving up a storm of each and every one of these demons. The point where Izuku gets so into the fight, he starts ripping and tearing into them. Like, man, I wish I had a weapon. As then he just picks up a sword and gets to swinging. This carries on until there is piles of dead demons all around. And just as they're about to leave, then here comes the damn angels. Here come the little Tweety Birds. As he goes, like, oh no. Shizawa Sensei, we actually... Calm down. Just wait. Uh, oh. Understood. Death. War. Who are you? There's no importance. What happened here? We suddenly found ourselves here. And now, as you can see, there are quite a few bodies to clean up. Mind dealing with them? <laughs> We're not your maids. True, but chances are you were going to slaughter them anyway. We did your job for you. I you can thank us by cleaning up this mess. As yes, as I just walks away, Izuku like what the hell? As he just starts walking with him. What the hell was going on? Calm down, war. There it is again. I'm starting to remember a little bit. It's me, your brother. Death. So when I called you that, it wasn't just... No. Incredible. Wait, what? Your death, I'm war. That's not familiar to you? Yes, the horsemen of the apocalypse. Just as are, that's who we are. So. What you're saying is that we're 
Yes. But. Oh no. That th that would mean. What? There are two more. Yes. Like. I would assume so. Yes. can't believe it. So, do, do we look for them? Do we find them? I mean, what's, what's going to go, go on now? Don't worry about it. First things first, we need to get back. We need to find a way to return home. Unless we want there to be panic. Right. So, if you're death. Apparently, I, I must be the ruler or leader. Really? But, but what? If anything, I was. What? I awakened first, so why not? Me, if you want to test our skills, uh, oh, so y yes, if you want to run the horsemen, you're more than will welcome to fight me. Uh, no. All right. As yes, this is an awkward walk until they actually uh, reach the makers. Where are we? A safe place. How are you so sure? Just trust me. Well. I haven't seen you in a while, I have a maker. Death. So, what's, go what's uh, happening here? Oh, nothing. It's just me and my brother. Hmm. So, this is war. I haven't seen you in a while. What? Hmm. So what brings you here? We need to get back to Earth. That we thought. Who better show us the way? We? You're right. You're not that fully awakened yet. And you are? You saw what I did. Ah. Uh, right. Hmm, so what? Is, so what? You need to go back to, to Earth, do you? Yep. If anything, sooner the better. Hmm. Alright. I can help you out. If anything. Yeah. Just go through uh, this portal here, and that should at least take you to the last place you were before. At least from uh, Earth. Thank you. No, thank you. If anything, you were quite the help back in the day. Hmm. Yes. As soon as they go through this portal, everyone is pretty much searching and in a whole panic. Inko is there just to see, like, wait. Hey, guys. Izuku? Hey, Mom. Where have you been? Um... 
Azawa, where were you? Wait, what happened to you? <clears throat> I got an upgrade. Just call it a quirk awakening. What? Watch this. As then his eyes, his red eyes start glowing. As then the green mist starts turning red. As all oh my, you might want to stand back. What? Trust me. All my be like, okay, okay, I, I, I ain't touching that. As then he's like, God, Skibok go. Try using your quirk. You're not going to try to expel me, are you? Of course not. As he does try, he can't. I mean, he's sweating in the upper storm, but for some reason he can't light. It's like, what's going on here? Why isn't my quirk working? As he just looks at the missus. That's not possible. And then as I was just like, okay, how about this? I'll close my eyes. As yes, his eyes are closed, but but the mist still there. Bago still can light up his explosions. Like you're still using your quirk. You're right. Hold on. Him turning off his eyes. But the still the red mist is there. As nothing. What did you do? My quirk got better. As then he just absorbs it. Like it was nothing. That's astonishing, but how? And then Kirk goes like, get out of the way. He's still injured. Actually, I'm quite fine. Wait, what's, what's with those scythes? Um... Something I decided to keep secret. Just why have you been using? You know what? Never mind. How are you? All right. Uh, I I could just say that my quirk has reached a point where it's. For lack of a better word, reached its peak. Huh. Really? Hmm. Okay. Fine. But that doesn't explain why. Uh. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, that, that's over. Care to explain where you two were? Well, we decided to um, go for ice cream. Where's the ice cream? It was good ice cream. There's an investigation going on to how villains get into UA. Hmm. I could see that, yes. Yes, if anything, everything seems to be fine, doesn't it? Uh, I... I suppose everything is in order, but still. What? Is there something wrong? No, 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 I mean, no. we were just worried when we didn't find you here before. I appreciate that, but there's nothing to worry about. Me and young Midoriya are fine. Hmm. Yes, you seem to be quite in good health. As they leave it at that, 
next day yeah 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 they held the whole thing like yep we're we're done here we for a moment you're gonna have to train on your own while we try to get this whole how the villains infiltrate you away and whatnot as well as the sports festival you're going to get ready for it Izuku, he's still on the lawn. So who's death? Who's death? Aizawa. Who's war? That's me. But we're missing two of them. So, what's, what's going to happen? What's, what's, and seriously, his power is extraordinary. Seriously, how did he get so strong? Though I've had, I've awakened sooner than he has. What sense does that make? <sighs> well, he almost died, and me, I just <sighs> maybe I have to be in another battle or something. But if that's the case, how come the... Ah, it's probably nothing. Him bumping into one miracle. Her being pissed as all hell, like, you you asshole, why are you already here? Why are you in my way? Huh? As yes. Then he sees a villain running away from Mirko saying, Thank you, kid, you saved my life. As he's cowering behind Izuku, Mirko, get out of my way. I have to punish him. So, you, aren't you going to arrest him? No. He's, he could try to run away, so I have to break his legs. Uh, you see why I'm running away from her? Well, to be honest, you are a villain. Doesn't mean I want my legs broken. Mm. Either way, kid, move. Uh, either you move, or I will move you myself. As he sees a glimmer of this pinkish flame coming from her eyes. <laughs> okay. Wait. No! Oh god, please don't leave! She's gonna kill me! You shouldn't have broke the law! That's bullshit! She's gonna kill me! I won't kill you. But I am gonna beat you up quite nicely. As yes, Izuku walks away from this altercation while people are gathering around it. Pretty much cheering on Miracle. Some, like, Damn, did she have to go that bad? Did she have to beat him up that bad? <laughs> Emless is called. Wait, what was that? Them looking at Miracle, she's gazing back at Izuku. Hmm. I don't know why, but something seemed familiar about him. As she continues the onslaught before the Olympus. Finally, he decides to step in and stop her. Izuku, he's still in his mind thinking, How is Aizawa that much more powerful? Could death really be that much more strong than me? Or did he do something to gain... He says something about me not being fully awakened. Could that have something to do with it? If I really am war, he's deaf. Uh, okay, that's... This is a lot to process. Uh, yes, this is... Pretty much how Izuku's mindset is 
despite him training and whatnot, using one for all more, at least less recklessly as he would before. I'm already knowing about full cowling and whatnot, so it's nowhere near as bad as it could have been. But he knows he's stronger. Not stronger than death, or at least Aizawa, but he should be stronger than what he is now. But he just doesn't know what he can do to truly trigger it yet. <laughs> 